Blackwolf here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a circular tail rack on the wall. Now, if you've got one like I have and you were thinking, well, how on earth do I put this on the wall? It just come like this. Well, it's a little bit more simpler than even I realised, to be honest. Uh, somewhere around the edge, so I don't know if you can see, there is a little screw. Now, I did not notice this at first, but there is a little screw somewhere around, and all you need to do is unscrew it just like this. I wouldn't say it all the way out, just enough to get this little piece here. Once you've got this little piece here, if it does not come with one, which this one did not, let's put this down one, you will need to get a screw, one that fits, and then you just need to get a screw just like that to be able to put it into that little circle there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach that to the wall. I'm going to turn it around and attach it so it's, this flat part here is going to be facing the wall and this is going to be facing, this is going to be facing outwards. So once you've found out where you want to put it, I will just need to change a little bit of the screwdriver. To, let's say this one. Just check that it will fit. Yep. Once you find out where you'd want to put it, so I'm going to put it center roughly here. place your screw there and I'm just going to simply screw it into the wall. I'll make it a hole and just turn that around making sure that you have it be facing the wall on the flat side. And you just want to screw that into the wall. Once you've done that, you should end up with something that should look roughly like that into your wall. The next step you would want to do is, with this bit, you'll see the two parts here and here. You'll want these two parts at the top and bottom to slot into there. I would advise having your, if you do have a screw a bit, facing that downward as that might be easier to screw into. Once you've done that, make sure it is straight and just change that fitting back over. Then you'll just want to, underneath, Screw this bit back in just to tighten that up. And this bit might be slightly tricky as it's just up against the wall. And there we go. There's that in the wall, ready for, if you so wish, a towel. As it is a towel wrap. To basically go on and that will hold that. So there is the towel rack. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, you never know, maybe even better, then please subscribe to see more videos just like this one, maybe even better. Thank you for watching this how-to video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.